Hello, good morning, uh, Danielle. Get started here in a few minutes. Just let me know if you can hear me, please. Just want to make sure that the audio is coming through. Hello, Claudia. Good morning. Danielle, hello, Daniela. Let me know, guys, if you can hear me okay. Just want to make sure that uh, the audio is coming through. Yes, I can hear you. Great. Thank you. All right. I think we'll get right into it. I, again, I want to give you guys some time uh, with today's activity. I want us to shift a little bit here and uh, we've got a new concept here social inequality and uh, there's there seems to be always issues problems with uh, inequality in, in terms of uh, different social aspects that we face both here in Mexico and of course the United States and around the world I don't know if you guys been have have been following much in the news here uh, recently um, in the United States, there was a man named George Floyd who was basically murdered, as, as it appears, uh, from police officers. And uh, he was, he's black, and he had um, been pulled over by, I think, three or four police officers and uh, basically just, uh, you know, constrained him to the ground and ended up he ended up dying because of uh, apparently what the uh, the police were, were doing to him. So there's a lot of outrage right now in the United States, a lot of um, protests going on throughout the country, not just uh, in the location in Minneapolis. It was in uh, Minnesota, in the state of Minnesota, where this happened. But there's all kinds of um, protests going on throughout the world. It's been a really a big, big, uh, big issue right now in the United States. But I think we can all relate if we we've all seen uh, examples, both in the news and in perhaps even face to face, uh, some issues here with inequality. And I want to focus this week on uh, the different types of aspects of social inequality that uh, that uh, that can occur. I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you guys uh, some uh, of our some of the content that I have uploaded in our virtual classroom. Now we're in week 15, so you can access this as well. Um, I want to show a very short video here in a, in a few minutes about kind of a just gives a general overview of certain types of social inequality that you uh, or that basically anyone can face in any society. And uh, but before we look at the video, I'm, I'm curious to hear from you guys. What kind of social inequality have you have you seen? Have you fa have you faced? It can be here locally here in, in Mexico or even here in Aguascalientes. Um, but what do you think would be the top? I think the most problematic types of social inequality that that you see currently um, here in Mexico. And feel free to unmute your mic, just jump right in. Um, if you want to uh, mention something, if you have some ideas about what do you think is the most problematic aspects of different types of social inequality here in Mexico? What do you guys think? Any ideas? If you had to choose like one type of 
social inequality that's worse than it than another. Which one would you choose, and why? What do you think? And feel free to jump right in. I want to get some of your thoughts before we dive into today's activity and when we look at the, the video. I'm curious what what types of inequalities are most problematic here. So for example, maybe it's the pay gap <clears throat> between men and women, right? That's a big issue in the United States. So a lot of women are not getting paid equally for doing the same same type of work or the same amount of work, all right? That's a big, big issue, the pay gap between men and women. Of course, racial and ethnic problems um, in the United States, both not just African Americans, but Hispanics as well, Asian Americans, all right? They're at, they're, these minority groups are, are at a disadvantage when it comes to employment, maybe even receiving health care. What do you guys think? Here in Mexico, is there some particular issue that stands out more than any others? Um, I think homophobic issues. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Uh, the problem of the homophobic persons. I don't know ah, okay, if like handicap? Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's is that so that might be an issue, right? If uh, schools or hospitals or even businesses don't have um, maybe ramps that are available to help handicaps if they're in a wheelchair, for example, they may not be able to access certain locations if there are not, um, you know, proper ramps for them to to access. Right, or maybe healthcare as well. Maybe they're at a disadvantage. Okay, good. Anyone else have any ideas? And you can post to the chat too if you don't want to unmute your microphone. If you want to share some of your ideas about different types of inequalities. Right, so inequality is the opposite of equality, right? So we want equality between uh, races and ethnic groups and, uh, and uh, genders. We want equal opportunities, you know, between all groups of people. And today in this week, we're going to be thinking and talking about different types of uh, inequalities, social inequalities. All right, so I'm going to share my screen once again, and let's take a look at this short video. And uh, let me, let's try this. See how this works here. All right. All right, I'm going to play just a second. If you guys could just let me know if the audio is coming through uh, the video. Now let's talk about social inequality. Now, when we talk about social inequality, can you guys hear that? Yes. Okay. Inequality. What we're saying is that the resources in a society are unevenly distributed. Now, an excellent example of this is the wealth distribution in the United States, where the top 20% have 72% of the wealth of the country, and the bottom 20% only control about 3%. So as we can see, that's a great deal of inequality. When we think about social inequality, we often think about our society and how it's structured into different classes. One of the ways that we do this is by labeling society as containing the upper class, middle class, and lower or working class. And these class distinctions are often made on the basis of people's jobs or incomes. And one of the things that we know is that as you go up the social ladder, you often have better access to quality education, healthcare, and other services such as housing or good nutrition. 
One other thing that we can think about is that the groups of the population that are really disproportionately affected by this social inequality. Minorities, for example, ethnic minorities or racial minorities, tend to have greater degrees of inequality as manifested by lower incomes, lower educational opportunities, and reduced access to health care. And the health care that they do get is often substandard. In addition to racial and ethnic minorities, we should also consider that um, people who are very poor or an who are in poverty also face considerable barriers to obtaining the same health care, education and other resources such as housing as other people. So really being an ethnic minority, racial minority or being very poor puts you at a great social disadvantage. In some ways, gender does too. We know that being female carries with it certain disadvantages in regards to social equality in that females often experience differences in terms of pay, known as the gender pay gap, where they may be paid less than their male peers. They may also experience the glass ceiling effect, where they may be more poorly represented in higher positions, um, more powerful positions within companies and other institutions, even, even public institutions. So gender is also an important consideration. So what happens when we have these high rates of social inequality? People may feel increasingly socially excluded. They may separate out and live in segregated neighborhoods. And they may also feel politically disempowered. This potentially creates a, a combination of things which can lead to civil unrest and also may tempt people into criminal activities. All right, so, so look at this. There's a lot of information here, but notice that there are there's some overlap in some of the different ways that these inequalities can result. So, for example, healthcare. So, if we're if there's a problem with wealth inequality, if 72 percent of the top or if top 20 percent account for 72 percent of uh, the businesses, right? Then what? Where does that leave those who are in the the working class or the lower class, right? The bottom twenty percent makes up only three percent, right? So there's an inequity, right? That's that's a huge difference, right? And so if there are problems here with healthcare, some people don't have access to healthcare because of their financial situation. Guess what? It also occurs in certain minority groups. Certain ethnic groups also are going to have problems accessing health care. And if you happen to be a woman, you also could have problems having uh, receiving equal pay, which could also affect one's health care. So imagine if you were a poor, black, or Af African-American woman, you're going to be at a much wor more disadvantage, right, with these inequalities. It's not just based on race. It's not just based on, on gender. A lot of times it's a combination of these depending on which, uh, which group of uh, people that you fall into, right? And here in the United States, if you're uh, watching any of the news that's going on right now, you're seeing a lot of information here about civil unrest. There's a lot of protesting going on, and there's even additional uh, killings going on because people are are upset, right? They uh, feel segregated, right? They feel like they're uh, disempowered, that they have no power politically to make change, right? To to better their situation, so. Uh, it's complicated, but notice that a lot of these relate to each other. This week, we're going to be focusing on specific aspects of these. I'm going to ask you to focus on one very specific aspect, but realize that they're they're all related, right? They, there's a relationship, and they all influence and impact the other in different ways, and they're not they don't exist in in isolation.
Okay, I think it's an important point to make is that when you're thinking very specifically about one type of social inequality this week, that that it's more complex and it relates and influences many other types of inequalities as well. All right, so uh, today what I'd like to do, and I don't want to go into, I've got a lot of information here that I want you guys to go into. Um, I think this first page is a good place to start because it has basically an outline of some specific aspects of social inequality that you that you can think about. One of the first things I want us to do today is I'd like for you to decide on a certain aspect of inequality to focus on. You can use this page in the virtual classroom to get some ideas to make a decision, but I'd like for you to make a specific decision about one of these aspects that appear in the outline. So instead of just saying ethnic inequality, I'd like for you to think about or decide on one of these aspects that relate to ethnic inequality. For example, health care, maybe food, uh, the access to, to food. Maybe it's something related to education, right? And focus on one of these aspects. If you're interested in gender inequality, maybe you choose the pay gap or the glass ceiling. The glass ceiling is basically where women typically are only able to advance to a certain level. They can't advance any further like men typically are able to do. So that there's a glass ceiling. There's basically a top either in pay or in position where women can't advance any further. And it's not fair because men will, will typically be able to uh, achieve those higher level positions. That's the glass ceiling. It's a little bit different than the pay gap, which is just simply women getting paid less for doing the same work as as men. All right. So those are two different aspects. You could choose one of those to focus on or maybe something related to socially excluded uh, phenomena here. We've got segregated neighborhoods, politically disempowered, civil unrest, criminal acts. All right. Now, these are just a few examples right, to choose from. I'd like for you to begin with this page to get some ideas. If you want, you can also take a look at this PDF file and you'll scroll down and there's some examples here as well. Some of these are repeated. Uh, age inequality, we haven't talked about that, right? So when you get to become a certain age, then you don't maybe have the same opportunities as other people, even though you're just as qualified and capable, right? So that would be an age inequality, right? So that your age is putting you at a disadvantage, even though you're still capable, knowledgeable, skillful enough to do a particular job. All right, so you could also look at um, this document to get some ideas as well. And uh, this is nice because it's got some uh, a further explanation about, for example, inequality in ideology, looking at the idea of individualistic um, kind of uh, an idea of individual individualism versus collectivism, working together with others, you know, versus working and striving for things on your own. All right, so here's some information here and. The first activity I want us to do, guys, here is under activities. I have here the instructions. And one of the first things I'd like for us to do, and I, I want to give you two options that how you can get started with this activity. Um, I'll explain the activity first, and then I'll give you the two options on how you can start. So the instructions for today for to get started in this task. And this is going to take a couple of days to do this task. But I want you to uh, review the different kinds of social inequalities that exist. Now, these could exist here in Mexico. They could exist here in Aguas Calientes. They might even exist in your local community, right? It can be as local 
and specific as possible. In fact, the most, the more specific, the better. But think about some social inequalities that exist, and I'd like for you to choose one. Choose one very specific type of social in inequality that can be your focus. And I'd like for you to find first a video that represents, that discusses this type of inequality. Now, it could be very, if you're, if you're thinking about something very specific that's local here in Mexico, you may or may not find a specific video for that particular group of people. But I'm pretty sure you can find a video that represents the idea of the inequality that is represented in those types of people in, in that particular context. All right, so try to find a video and try to keep it short, preferably under 10 minutes, that, that relates, that relates to the inequality that is your your topic that is your focus all right so you find the video and from your readings and from the video itself perhaps i'd like for you to develop uh, some of the following here so we have uh, i'd like for you to create a post in this forum now again it's this is not going to be for today we're going to have several days to do this all right but the uh, post is you're going to embed the post in, uh, in you're going to embed the video in the post. All right. So when you create a post, right, if you click here, I don't know if you guys are familiar how to do this, but you can click the HTML source code and copy and paste the HTML source code in to the post, all right, so that the video actually appears. And um, I can show you guys, do you, well, let me show you real quick here. If you go to YouTube, any video. Hi. All right, and if you go to share, just click and copy and paste this code here. And with that code, you copy and paste it into here, and you update, and then there it appears. Okay, so that's how you embed a video. So you embed a video, and then below that, I'd like for you to create a title, and you can do this at the end if, after you've completed the rest of the activity, but try to create a six to 12 word title. And then below that, answer, the following questions. Okay, try to f answer as many of these questions as possible. It's basically providing a summary of the inequality that you chose, a specific type of inequality that you chose. And try to answer as many of these questions as possible. Right? Once you have answered these questions, you'll convert it into a, a paragraph to be uploaded here to, uh, to this forum. Okay, but I would just create, I would answer the questions first and then from there create the paragraph. Now we're going to be working together through this and, and um, what we're going to do is um, before we upload all of this, all right, I think what I'll do is so that you guys have a space to work because again, this is going to take a few days to do, but I want you to explore a very specific type of uh, social inequality uh, that that really resonates with you, that you relate to, that you've seen, and that you are concerned about, and that is the the type of inequality that I want you to focus on. It doesn't matter if you're focusing on something similar to your other classmates, but I do want to give you guys two options to get started. All right, and. And this is totally up, up to you guys. If you guys want to right now discuss openly and decide who wants to do what and talk about who wants to do what first, we can take this opportunity today in the live class for you guys to have that conversation, to say, okay, I'm thinking about this, I want to do this, I want to do that, and and determine beforehand who's going to do what, right? That's That's an option. Or if you don't want to do that, then each person simply chooses what they want to focus on, right? And, and you can do it that way.
but I'll leave it up to you guys as a group to decide if you want to discuss it openly first. Again, you can do it right here in an open discussion, or, or if you just want to decide individually, and you can decide if you want to, uh, you know, focus on whatever inequality, an example of inequality that you want, and um, yeah, you know, it's up to you guys. All right, but this is going to be our uh, activity that we're going to be working on, and what I'm going to do here is the let me back out of here so that each of you has a space i'm going to create here in the virtual classroom under week 15 a wiki and this is going to be an individual wiki so each one of you will have your own space to to uh and work and work in your, um, you know, move your videos over and, and list the questions and answers that you want uh, that relate to your topic. Okay, so we'll do individual wiki. We'll call this home. Everything else is. OK, all right, so remember that when you guys go into your uh, your wiki. The first time it's going to look a little a little bit different. First time you go in. It's going to look like this, so just click create page, keep everything else the same, and then it will take you into your your own wiki. Now this is only you only have to do this the first time. Once you've done it, then you'll you'll be brought in here and you've got an edit page and a view page right so you can go back and forth just remember to periodically save your work so as you're making changes um, you can uh, click save but this wiki is just your space you can design it however you want but it's going to relate specifically to the topic the topic of uh, social inequality that you chose for this for this activity all right so again we'll start working in the wiki once you've completed the assignment in the wiki, then you can go to the forum and upload to the forum this. All right. But again, I'm going to give you guys a few days to do this, so don't uh, feel like you have to upload this today. Uh, I want to work with you to develop your ideas for your uh, your topic, uh, not only the answers to the questions, but also when you are creating your paragraph from the answers to these questions. All right, we, we're going to work together on those and uh, look at each other's work and work collectively to come up with some really good ideas for social in inequality. But make sure again that the type of social inequality that you guys are choosing, make sure that it's very specific. All right, so when we looked at those examples earlier, we saw very uh, explicit examples going to this first page, right? So that you want to choose one of these to be your focus. And you want to first look around, check YouTube if you want, look at some, some different videos to get some ideas, and uh, look at the, the different pages that I've included here to get some ideas. Again, I think this PDF file is a good place to begin. Uh, there's also a, a nice video here from Emma Watson on inequality of uh, men and women. And you might want to take a look at that to get some ideas. Uh, but this is what I'd like for us to uh, begin doing today for the remainder part of today in class. And uh, we'll continue this activity tomorrow as well. Does anybody have any questions about, about this task? Any questions, guys, about where to start? What we no. have to do in the wiki? Uh, in the wiki, this is where you any information 
that you want to include in your wiki, you can include. OK, so if you want to include the questions, these questions here and answer the questions in the wiki, right? You can write your your uh, title in your wiki, right? Basically, all of these instructions here you can think about and include in the wiki because the wiki is just like your own space. It's basically you, how you're going to prepare for the assignment. Um, this this uh, forum, the only thing you're going to upload is the paragraph. Well, you're going to upload the video. You're going to upload your title. And and then the paragraph. You don't even need to include the questions, but you would include the this information the first point the second and the fourth basically okay the questions are there to help you think of some things to include uh, in your paragraph All right but you can include anything you want in in your wiki if you want to include the link to your video right include that or if you want to practice embedding in in the uh, wiki Right, so that you can do that. Okay, but the wiki is mainly your space and you can design it however you want uh, for the purposes of, of this assignment. Now, I would recommend that you include as much as possible so that I can also help and see what you're working on and I can hopefully give you better feedback if I see what you're, what you're doing and what you're thinking about in your wiki. Okay, does that, uh, does that help, Claudia? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have have any questions? Um, Benjamin? Yes. So through the week, we are going to work in the wiki. And and we are um, and I, I don't know. And the, at the end of the weekend to the week, uh, we are working. In, in the forum? Um, so today and tomorrow we're going to work in the in the wiki for sure. All right. So today and tomorrow we'll we'll work in class <clears throat> and if you need to outside of class to come up with your topic, you should be able to answer your questions. And come up with a, a title. Right and um, I don't have a set date. I don't know exactly how long we're going to do this because I want to see how things go. But today and tomorrow, we need to begin working in our wiki, coming up with this information that's listed in these instructions here. OK, um, you don't have to upload anything right now to the forum. OK, so I just I'm just giving this. This is kind of the project when we finish. Right. I'll give you when we get closer. I'll tell you when I want you to upload to to the forum. But I'm showing you this now so that you know what we're working towards, that this is what we're going to be uh, doing here in a couple of days. Um, but meanwhile, in our wiki, we'll use that space to finalize this this task. Okay, All right. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Do you guys want to discuss the the topics first as a group or do you want to just everybody do his or her own thing? Does anybody have any opinions? All right, so uh, let's do this. Uh, it looks like Claudia, and I think that's a good idea. She has uploaded to the chat one of her topics. Um, she's going to focus on discrimination against indigenous people here in Mexico. All right, that's good. I think that's a good topic. Do you want to focus on one particular type of indigenous people or are you going to categorize them all? Uh, if you want to share that, uh, Claudia. 
And let's do that. If uh, you guys don't want to jump in with your microphones, uh, type in the chat the the type of inequality that you want to focus on. And again, it can. And this is what I want you guys to decide on. Do you want? Do you guys want to try to choose topic different topics as a group, or just have maybe a couple of you choose? If you choose the same topics then you, each one of you does your own thing. That's also possible, right? But it's up to you. I want you to decide as a group how you guys want to work so that at the end, when you finish, do you want to talk about a more a wider variety of topics or do you want to talk about fewer topics but more explicitly or in uh, depth? So it uh, looks like Marcella wants to talk about the pay gap, and I'm surprised. I suppose you mean between men and women or or some other pay gap. And also, Marcel, if you want to indicate uh, a location or a context, like are you referring to here in Mexico or the United States or somewhere else? When you guys are thinking about your topics and you're uploading it to the chat, think about not only the the uh, inequality, but also maybe the location. If we're talking about here in Mexico or m maybe even within the state of Aguascalientes or maybe even the city of Aguascalientes, maybe even a very uh, specific location or a part of or an area of Aguascalientes. Just depends on what you want to focus on, what you know about the situation. All right, inequality of education in Mexico. All right, and all right, uh, Jamilka, that sounds good. Ben, we have to tell you what topic we are going to choose or just we are discussed. Well, you can, I would like to, well, yeah, I mean, I would like for you to share what you're thinking about, the topics that you're thinking about, so that uh, if I need to make some suggestions about being more specific, I can try to do that. Um, so yeah, I would uh, ask that you share what you're thinking. If you change your mind, that's fine too, between now and maybe tomorrow. Uh, you you change your mind and you want to focus on something else, that's fine. Um, but I would like this information eventually in the wiki. So right now it's okay in the chat just so that I can give some immediate feedback. But as you're, you're deciding, I would also m move some of this information into your wiki. And yes, I would like to be part of the 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 thought process just so that I see that your things are are moving along. I don't want it to be too general. That's one of my concerns is that you're uh, choosing topics that are a little bit uh, wide in scope so that it's I'd rather you focus on a very specific aspect of inequality. All right, so socially excluded, okay, criminal acts in Mexico, all right? Now, and if there is a specific group of people, like when you guys are talking about either criminal acts, health care, even inequality of education, if, there, if you're focusing on a specific group of uh, individuals, um, then I would mention that as well, right? If you're focusing on a specific group of people, that would be uh, good to, to mention. Okay, uh, Daniela, socially excluded, segregated neighborhoods, okay, in Aguascalientes, all right, so that sounds very interesting. And you guys can look up information 
in uh, you know any kind of information, whether it's English or Spanish. Of course, our activities are going to be in English, but some of your source material might be in Spanish, right? That's fine. If you need to rely on, let's say, newspapers that are in, written in Spanish to get more information to include in answering your questions, then that's that's fine. Okay, that's a good um, that's a good topic, uh, Claudia. And if there, if you can speak, if there's a sp specific aspect of discrimination that you can focus on, that would be even better, right? If there's something, um, you know, what kind of discrimination did either you experience or that you've seen? Uh, that you could speak about, right? And maybe just focus on one type. Pay gap in Mexico. So, Marcela, are you referring to the pay gap between men and women? Yes. Okay. All right. That's a good topic. The pay gap between men and women in Mexico. So as you guys are deciding on your topics, be uh, thinking about different online spaces to get more information, right? So that you can have some good information when it comes to answering some of the questions that were listed. And uh, continuing, you can continue to upload to the chat some of your ideas if you guys are still thinking about uh, your topics. Or if you have questions, we can uh, discuss those. If you're not sure what you want to focus on. Go ahead and mute my mic. Go ahead and jump in if you guys have some questions and uh, continue to work now in the wiki. Kind of move some of your ideas, some of the things that you've included in the chat. Bring those over to the wiki and uh, begin with uh, the activity. As And um, again, just jump in if you guys have any questions. All right, guys, I think uh, we'll go ahead and conclude today's class. Uh, tomorrow, uh, for tomorrow, try to have uh, your topic and uh, try to have some of your questions answered in your wiki. Make sure that you've created your wiki, first of all, of course, and go ahead and list the uh, topic that you chose. If you want to use what you uh, discussed in the chat, if you have a different idea, if you change your mind, that's fine too, but include that in the wiki. And I would list out the questions in your wiki to begin uh, completing those in, in your wiki. I would spend between today and tomorrow reading up as much as you can about your topic so that you have some really good answers when addressing each of those questions. All right. And then tomorrow in class, we'll continue. I'll look at what you have, give you some feedback on how you're getting, uh, putting together some of your ideas. And uh, again, make sure that you guys try to focus on specific, very specific aspects of social inequality, not to talk about uh, too many different things. Try to focus it as much as possible on one specific aspect of inequality. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop there for today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.